All right, guys, it's an honor to have my good friend Danny Stock on. Um, we've only known each other just a little over a year, right? I mean, it's actually a year and a half now. Year and a half. Uh, yep. It's crazy. Um, but <laughs> he's uh, become one of my really, really, really good friends. Um, and it's uh, just been a pleasure to partner him, with him on uh, things. And so um, he has a really unique method for doing retail arbitrage. Um, I don't want to spoil what he's going to talk about, but essentially uh, he makes retail arbitrage a business model that is uh, more sustainable, more long-term, uh, feels way less of a hustle. Um, it's something that you can count on uh, month after month. And so uh, you guys know I'm a private label guy. That's my thing. But um, I know that there's uh, tons of people out there that uh, that retail arbitrage is their business and it's a great business. And so, but it, many times you start to feel like, man, I got to, it's always on you to constantly find new inventory. And again, it just feels like a hustle. And so Danny has a unique method. And so that's why, and I believe in it. I believe in him. And, um, and so uh, that's why I'm sharing this with you guys because it's, it's that good. So, all right, Danny, I'll let you take it on. If you want to share your screen with any slides you have and all righty, we'll be, we'll be good. All righty. So this is all about sourcing made easy. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm very passionate about uh, making Amazon more simple. Mm -hmm. I'm always finding new ways to uh, thrive on Amazon because it, let's be honest, it's getting more competitive. And so, but there is so much room and Amazon, nice thing about it, it keeps growing double digits every year. So there's plenty of markets for everybody and plenty of room. Uh, it's just, I think it's important to use your time and your time management. Uh, I mean, use that uh, in an intelligent manner. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're smart people. A lot of us are entrepreneurs. So time is a scarce resource and uh, yeah. let's not waste it, you know, because that's uh, one of those resources that you cannot get back. Uh, you can't get more of it. And, you know, this goes so much further than just Amazon's, but uh, so much more. But you'll see as we go through this, uh, you know, really what this is all about. Uh, just a little bit of my background. You know, I've been selling online since 2001. I started on eBay. And about uh, three and a half years ago, I stumbled upon Amazon. And the reason I stumbled upon it was because I was broke. I mean, I was very, very poor. Um, I was very house poor. As a matter of fact, my wife had just got a job, a teaching job, and mm -hmm. I had a job with a family business. And, uh, well, we had a daughter that was born three months early. So she spent 97 days in the hospital in the NICU mm. until my wife got laid off from her teaching job. Um, probably, probably the best thing that ever happened to me in hindsight, uh, because it, it, that's really what led to, to Amazon for me. Uh, we have, we are in debt up to our eyeballs. I mean, we were house poor. We bought a house that needed to be fixed up. So imagine that just compiles to the problem. So I can't, it's not like I could sell it right away because it was in shambles. So I had to fix it and I had to put that on, on credit card. So, uh, I found Amazon through a couponing website, reading something about, um, lady talking about how she would go to target and uh, what was it? Yeah. She buy toys or 70% off uh -huh. and sell them on Amazon for some extra income. Okay. I was like, Oh, that's simple. I could do that. I already sell on eBay. I've never tried Amazon. So <laughs> I didn't know any, anybody existed. Ryan. Um, I didn't know June Cochran was, I didn't know what the Amazon seller app was. I didn't know what FBA was. I didn't know what the fees were. So I literally just went and uh, uh, took uh, my phone with me and looked up things on Amazon manually and to say, Ooh, it looks like it's selling for more than here is here in the store. So, and uh, <laughs> needless to say that led to a lot of uh, agony. I didn't make any money. I actually owed Amazon money uh, the first couple of payouts. So, but 
uh, the rest is history. So I got my act together. Um, and uh, I'm also a veteran in the, uh, from the Army. I spent some time in Iraq uh, and been working hard labor uh, uh, in contracting. Now I have like four or five different businesses now that mm-hmm. I manage. So that's why I'm all about saving time. I do in a, you know, selling coach now, look, and I get actively engaged in Amazon at all levels. Uh, Mm -hmm. I, I do private label wholesale exclusives. I love exclusives. I love retail arbitrage. Probably Mm -hmm. the one thing I do the least amount is online arbitrage, but Uh I kind of do a hybrid of that. So, um, yeah, I lead an exclusive, uh, Amazon selling group. It's called Amazon legends, but you'll hear about that a little bit later. So awesome. So look, when when I was when I started this, I was still working in contracting. Okay. I didn't we traveled a lot, didn't have any time. I literally had a lunch break and that was an hour long. So anytime I was out driving around or on the site, you know, I'd say, oh, okay, I got a lunch break. And sometimes I'd just skip lunch and I'd go into place <laughs> like this target picture here or Walmart, wherever. And I'd, gosh, I was like, man, I don't have enough time to really search a store thoroughly. I mean, I, an hour, you can't scan a lot in an hour, okay? No. Mm-mm. I was like, there's got to be a better way. So a lot of people coach, scan everything. Uh, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, that, that could work. But I found it was a very low hour, uh, low hourly rate I was making. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, there's got to be a better way. So I, I love time hacks. So, and uh, just, just go back, go back to that. You know, this is going back to your time, how precious your time is. Mm-hmm. You really want to sit there and not utilize your brain power and just scan everything in the aisle. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I, I literally did that. And I was like, what am I doing? I was like, right. uh, my head hurts. I'm like in this weird haze, like days. And I'm like, I, after a while, I was like, wait a second. I think that item I just scanned was profitable. And I just <laughs> <get> back now. <laughs> it's crazy overwhelming looking at that picture right there. I know. Where so, do you even start? Yeah, a typical Walmart store has like 250,000 items in it. That's typical oh super. Gosh. I don't know where you're supposed to comb through that if you do retail. Right. So let's just, let's just go back here a little bit. Look, here's a retail arbitrage definition courtesy of Jim Cockrum. You know, RA is an art or science. Remember that it's an art or a, and science of finding mm-hmm. items locally at retail store shelves that you can flip and sell for profit online. Mm-hmm. Look, you need to practice by how it is defined. It's an art and a science. So why would you sit there and scan uh, aimlessly uh, mind numbing work and not use your brain? You know, if it is a <laughs> science, you should be able to figure it out. So there must be something behind retail arbitrage, like some hacks or creative way to do it. Look, and so you want to spend less time sourcing. Uh, mm-hmm. Look, doing a search on Amazon seller app or online is much more intuitive and rewarding. Mm-hmm. And this practice, I've coined the phrase that just called reverse sourcing. So what we're doing is effectively we're, we're finding what uh, the customer is already looking for going on Amazon, trying to find, it doesn't matter where you're going. You could go to eBay, Walmart, whatever platforms you sell on. This can translate anywhere you go, Sears. So you can find, go on there. What what are people buying? Uh, what's popular? What has a good rank? So I use tools like Jungle Scout, uh, search for whatever it is you think, you know, when you're in, when you're in the store, I'll usually piecemeal the store up. So like if I'm going into Walmart, uh-huh. Okay, today I'm going to focus on these two home aisles, whether it's just kitchen stuff or whatnot. So I'm going to go in the aisle and type in what I see. I'm not going to scan things that I see. I'm going to type it in. And by doing that, I can easily cherry pick all of the items that uh-huh. look good. They have a good rank. Uh, they have uh-huh. no Amazon. I uh-huh. usually look for listings without Amazon because usually... Uh-huh. Unless you find some on clearance, you're not going to be able to sell it profitably. Right. So, and that's how I started doing my sourcing. You know, it, it was slow at the beginning, but as you, as I built it up, I was able to, um, 
build up these lists of items. I could just go in, it's like shopping lists, like your grocery shopping list. I just go in there and buy the same items over and over again. Like you always mm-hmm. got to go and buy bread and milk uh-huh. eggs. Okay. So I always go buy these, uh, uh, kitchen towels, this colander and this, uh, spatula every time I go in there and just sell it for, for a profit on Amazon. So moving on here, look, okay. So what, when I'm going in, what am I searching for? And this is the, one of the questions I get the most, uh, mm-hmm. and it does take some practice. Now, in this instance, and this is a real deal right here. Um, (laughs) So Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious, okay. I was in Walmart looking at the Hot Wheels, okay. They got thousands of Hot Wheels out there. You go to any one store, you'd be hard-pressed to find any two that are the same. They make so many different Hot Wheels. Right. So what caught my eyes, okay, I saw these Fast and Furious Hot Wheels, so. Uh I know. Okay. I'll search fast and furious hot wheels. Try to find out which ones are already selling well. Well, not only did I find what was selling well, I found these bundles and these multi packs of them that were <laughs> obviously you can see there have, they have good ranks. Everyone knows what hot wheels go for. They go for a buck. Uh-huh. buck. So <clears throat> you do the math, a set of eight, you got a buy cost of eight bucks and it's got a great rank. So and it's $25. All you got to do is wow. dig in the bins and get out all the, uh, out of the fast and furious hot wheels. Mm-hmm. So, so you want to type in what you're looking at. I mm-hmm. uh, don't just, you can start a real broad search. Like you just started with hot wheels. Maybe you scroll through there. You go, Ooh, that's kind of cool. They have this, these special hot wheels that are good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can type in specific items that you're looking at. Like, say you're looking at the kitchen towels. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, genres you can type in like, uh, um, like Ninja Turtles action figures or something bundles. You can type, you put in anything bundle, you can Mm -hmm. uncover every bundle just about. um. Mm. So, and those are things when you scan in the store, you are never going to find them. People have their own UPCs for these items. How how in the world are you ever going to find this doing retail arbitrage, this Hot Wheels? You would never find that. The typical seller will never find that. And, uh, so this automatically gives you a big edge on your competition. So you can also use things like tactical arbitrage, you know, so you go on Amazon, find out what's, what's popular and then you can more or less reverse source it and find a source online for those of you who like to do online arbitrage. So it's a very, uh, smart tool, intuitive, and that's the way I like to conduct my business. That's so not, uh, you know, do aimless searching around and, uh, in awesome. the dark and hopefully <laughs> that's awesome man this changes everything because we're um we're seeing folks that are um that we've been able to teach this method to that are um like mm-hmm. one girl in particular her husband was a teacher and now because of uh this they he is able to be home with her and help her with their amazon business and grow it even further somebody else in the group that yeah. um has uh is working on getting her husband home they just hired a shopper uh for their for their business their business is big enough now that they can pay somebody to do retail arbitrage for them using this method hopefully you guys understand the power of this so instead of going in down to a, a, an aisle and seeing you know, thousands of products and wondering, oh my gosh, where in the world do I start? It's, okay, what am I looking at? What's right in front of me? Okay, I see Hot Wheels. So instead mm-hmm. of pulling out the bin, the each one and scanning each single Hot Wheel, which you could do um, <laughs> if you got hours and hours and hours, but Danny did this stuff on his lunch break and walked out with carts full of stuff because he got so efficient at this. And so once you find a really good selling product like this bundle right here, you could continually restock it and replenish it. And so, you know, guys, when I talk about private label, it's one of the big things. It's so huge about private label. It's replenishable. You find a product that's selling really well um, that you that you that's yours and you can just all you got to do is reorder it. So this makes retail arbitrage like that where you, you mm-hmm. find a replenishable product. Uh, you just keep track of um, and. and, and Danny might talk about an app that he has where it keeps track of this stuff um, that uh, helps with yeah. replenishables. But, you know, you think replenishables, you usually think, oh, I'm going to go and get, um, you know, like uh, grocery items or items that people use all the time. But really replenishable is something that will sell over and over and over again that you've got constantly, co- constant access exactly. to. This takes retail arbitrage and makes it a business by, because 
now you have a list of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 things that you just need to replenish. So instead of going into the store and spending hours and hours scanning product after product, you're looking at, okay, I just need to go down the list. It's like a grocery list. And even like he said earlier, I need my milk, my eggs, my bread. Um, that's exactly what you're doing here. And so, okay, so Jen says she still doesn't understand how it works. So, Danny, uh, just kind of pretend. Let's say we, uh, let's see, we got this, I, you got this right here. You're in the, Jen, pretend that you're, that you're in, in Walmart with Danny right now and you're standing in uh, the toy aisle and you're looking at a bunch of Hot Wheels. So, Danny, you got two options. You can pick it up and scan everything or you can do this method. So, explain your method with Hot Wheels again. So, what I'm doing with the, if you, if you don't use the Amazon seller app, you should because the Amazon seller app, you're tapping into the Amazon search engine. So what it's gonna show you is everything that the customer would see on Amazon. So uh, when every time, very many, very few people use the search bar, they just click the scan uh, button over here to take a picture of the item or take a picture of the barcode. I don't use that a whole lot unless I'm checking clearance or I'm in a store like TJ Maxx, which has such a like a rainbow mix of items. So you can't really search uh, for specific brands or items because there's only onesies and twosies of every item. So this works well in places like Walmart who always have like the same items over and over again and they're restocking their shelves. So basically all you're doing is you're one way to start is type in a brand name. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're Let's say you're looking at the Pioneer Woman stuff uh -huh. at Walmart. So you would just type in Pioneer Woman and then you scroll through your app. You would uh, use your finger, scroll down here. You can find really quick what has good sales rank. And you can look on the shelf there in the store. You can do it online too. I just do in the store initially. Uh, that's just the way I am because I usually try to pick up some other items like uh, in the clearance section while I'm there. So that gives me opportunity to do both things. So anyway, so you can scroll really quickly through the list and see what is profitable, what is good. You can quickly find it on the shelf. Mind you, when I was starting off, I would search a little deeper. I wouldn't just type in, <coughs> excuse me, Pioneer Woman. I would type in whatever I was looking at. I would type in Pioneer Woman dish towels. If that's what I'm standing there looking at, why wouldn't I type that in? Because I would even type in dish towel bundles or multi-packs and uh -huh. find even more listings. Here's a little experiment. You go there and you scan those items. Very few actually scan. Right. Now, when people list these items, they change the UPCs, so it hides these items from you. And the only way you can find it is by searching manually. So, and that's how you find all these great listings that you typically wouldn't find when you're doing your typical retail arbitrage. What many people are coached at to, to, to this day is just scan, scan, scan. But right. I just don't find that as an effective way to do retail arbitrage and make it a scalable business. Yep. It's certainly not something you could ever really teach someone or be worth your time outsourcing to. So uh, not easily at least. So. That's kind of it in a nutshell. I'll go over it some more as we go along here. Yeah, um, awesome. Uh, let's see. Okay, look, what goes on in my head? I took a picture of the Pioneer <laughs> Woman Isle here. <laughs> so we we're talking about Perfect. this. So here, here's what I would do. Okay, I'm here looking at these pots. Uh -huh. So why, don't, why wouldn't I just type in Pioneer Woman pots and pans or Pioneer Woman um, dishes or knives or you got – you know, uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't know my uh, dish utensils. <laughs> or colander, colander, spatulas. Spatulas, uh, some knives, and then uh, a whisk, mm -hmm. and then a, uh, you know, a mixer, and then we got bowls over here, dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, you got mason jar, cups, mugs, okay. uh, salt and pepper shaker. So you just type in what you see. Don't overwhelm yourself because you'll be walking around the store aimlessly. Oh, gosh, that looks like a good item. And then i got to walk two aisles over. And I got to walk back, you know, just type what you see and take it a section at a time to mm -hmm. overwhelm yourself. That's why I said to go into Walmart. It doesn't matter what store you're in. You can go in any store. It doesn't have to be Walmart. I'm just using Walmart as an example, but type in what you see, you know, go take a, take a store piece by piece and dismantle it. Uh, in the beginning, you may not find a lot, but as uh, several members in our group, um, 
um, one being example, the one lady that bring, bringing her husband home, she has 400 items that are replenishable. Wow. That has generated her um, close to $30,000 in sales every month. And anything you find clearance is just gravy. Don't count on clearance to make your business. Not to mention, for those of you who have newer selling accounts, a lot of that clearance stuff is going to be restricted anyway. Uh-huh. So uh, a lot of that's going to be like name brand stuff. Yeah, every once in a while, you'll find like Pioneer Woman stuff in the clearance section. That's just a extra bonus. So, um, But that's kind of what I do. So uh, just think smart. What do you see? Once you type that in the search, does it exist on Amazon? Maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe it seems like a really good deal. You can make a listing for it Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't find one. Um, I can guarantee you, like I said, do an experiment. Uh, Scan some of these that you do find there on Amazon, and I bet you it won't bring up the same listing or it won't show up at all. So Mm -hmm. a little experiment for you. So that's kind of what goes on in my head. Yeah, so it could be as simple as typing in the brand, um, Pioneer Woman. Sure. It could be Pioneer Woman spatula, Pioneer Woman bowls, pans. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you can go really broad and just type in Pioneer Woman or drill down to the uh, – if you see a whole row of bowls, type in Pioneer Woman bowls and see what comes up. I mean, there's really not a right or wrong here. So I usually go after brands at, uh, at stores where it's not like a real mainstream brand. I'm not – I'm not searching Sony or Apple for items like this. I'm looking for brands that, uh, you know, maybe are a little less more generic or off the, uh, the beaten path per se. And I'm searching those brands. So what I do initially, I type in the brand. Okay. If I can find it on Amazon, I see some good listings and I'll investigate further. So real quick, you find out if a whole brand is good or not. That, that'll keep you from scanning an entire aisle. Think of how many hours you saved right there. If you saw an right. ABC brand at Rural King and you're like wondering, okay, is this good? And I'm so old school, you would go and scan everything in the aisle. Why don't you just type in the brand name and uh, find out real quick if it's worth your time. And then if you find items, okay, you can go cherry pick those items real quick. Mm-hmm. Or you can bundle two together that sell really well. Mm-hmm. Or someone, you know, there's so many things you can do. You know, I am a big believer in that. Uh, and people laugh at me when I say this, but retail arbitrage, I think, is a key to a sustainable business on Amazon, like building uh, a good foundation. You don't always have to do retail arbitrage. But here's my point. Retail arbitrage teaches you so much about Amazon, tells you what's a good rank, what sells. Yeah. Um, what are people looking for? As you go on, I have a journal, a book where I just keep notes in there. Okay. What, what sells well, what are some neat little niches? And so you build off of that. You find out, okay, wow, well, these pioneer women, uh, they have this really unique puppy or dog salt shaker that sells so well. <laughs> if someone just popped that on there and it wasn't pioneer woman or Amazon, mind you, just some other seller, if they can get it to sell well, uh-huh. Why don't I go and get that puppy uh, or dog salt and pepper shaker of my own, source it myself, and sell it as a private label? Right. But retail arbitrage leads to so much more. And, uh, you know, in the Legends Group, we talk about that a lot. Man, you, know, you nailed talk- it right there because this is a perfect example. I talked about this on the webinar with Brett <laughs> and Jenny on Monday, the pack webinar I did. And so, like that that dog right there at the bottom um, – Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a, is that a salt and pet? The big uh, this is a the cookie bottom? jar. Yep. That's a cookie jar. Okay, so mm-hmm. most of the time, just very quickly on private label, most people are probably not typing in Pioneer Woman dog cookie jar, most likely. No. They're probably <laughs> typing in maybe dog cookie jar, animal cookie exactly. jar, and they're coming up with this Pioneer Woman one. Um, this is not a brand-driven product. People aren't buying that dog cookie jar because it's Pioneer Woman brand. Does it help? Yeah, it probably helps once they get to and see it among the other listings. They're like, oh, this is mm-hmm. Pioneer Woman. That's kind of cool. Um, but that's a cool product anyway, and so Danny is exactly right. Um, if you could sell this dog a cookie jar and you, and you know it's not a br- necessarily a brand-driven product, that's a perfect private label idea right there. Absolutely. And, you know, look, this is – you, you are all in more intelligent than you probably give yourself credit for. Retail arbitrage is a proving ground for Amazon sellers. So mm-hmm. wait, over time, you develop this 
the sense of what sells well. Mm-hmm. And you just, you understand the inner workings of Amazon. And it, I've built, you know, my private label, wholesale exclusives, all off of retail arbitrage. It, everything, I can tie it back to retail ar- arbitrage. Mm. or online arbitrage either one they go hand in hand with me so, right right um so everything i can trace back to that because i said because i reflect back on what has sold really well in the past mm-hmm. like wooden handled spatulas these wooden handle whisks most of them right. are plastic or neoprene type um material and so you you recall those things and they're on your lists that you sell over and over again so Really, this is so much bigger than retail arbitrage. This is just the beginning of your well, uh, well diverse, um, strong Amazon business, which should be incorporating everything: retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, private label exclusives. Which wholesale, private label exclusives are kind of all wrapped up in one package. But needless to say, that uh, this is how you build an intelligent and strong business. And you, this gives you such a big edge, like I said, on your competition. If you if you want to do this seriously and you want to come home from your day job or you want to bring a, uh, a spouse or a significant other home from their day job and want, and bring them home so they can do this business or work from home, you have to start here. I really do. You could start right into private label if you wanted to, but uh, it'd be very difficult you know, give yourself a nice firm footing, understand this, then outsource it to somebody else and they move on and then take your knowledge and advance to the next level. Yep. So look, we're talking about the old way versus the new way. Scan, scan, scan. That's always been the old way that's been taught. Low hourly, many items will not scan. You will never find hidden SKUs, definitely not scalable long term. Uh, It's not easily outsourced. Uh, Mm -hmm. Now, search, source, sell. That's kind of my thing, the three S's. So three S's. At high hourly, build a re- replenishable <laughs> list of hundreds of items, if not thousands. You will uncover hidden SKUs. It's very scalable, and it's very easily outsourced. It's, mm-hmm. as, it's as outsourced as just giving someone a list and say, look, go buy all these things at Walmart mm. and bring it back and pack it up and ship it out for me to Amazon. My goodness, and you can have you people have all over the country it, doing that for you. Exactly. You can do this online. Have someone buy all the stuff for you online. Use Ebates and all that. I'm all about finding the items in the store, then going home and see if I can order it. Or I'll check it real quick in the on the app or if it's in-store only or I can buy it online. Then you can give yourself some extra padded margin by using Ebates or mm-hmm. the uh, online coupons you could possibly find. And discounted gift cards, mind you things you've all heard before so um so look like i said replenishables is the key to long-term success i really i really believe in that um use it as the bedrock of your business mm-hmm. and generally replenishables are very low risk items so i'm not buying things i'm not finding replenishables in electronics i'm not re- finding uh very many replenishables in in the beauty category, it's mostly like home improvement, kitchen, arts and crafts, uh, toys, um, categories like that. And brands are not very risky. I'm, I'm, you know, uh, want to avoid like those real risky brands. So mm-hmm. and most of the replenishables you find are not going to be anything that's risky. I've never had a um, an IP claim, intellectual property claim on any of these replenishables that I've sold. Um, and if you That's do, awesome. it's just get very unlucky. So, but uh, uh, moving on here uh, and just going back, what are replenishables? Cause I get asked this a lot. Look, is anything you can buy over and over again, a regular price. And if it, it goes on sale, even better, which mm-hmm. they do have rollbacks and sales and you can sell for a profit, Amazon, eBay, uh, anywhere. It can be any item. It can be from any source. It doesn't have to be, just Walmart, you can go, there's so many websites that just sell like generic merchandise uh, and you can just buy it off their virtual shelf and sell for profit. Mm-hmm. Um, and we talk a lot about that and how to find those items and, uh, you know, more or less put that on autopilot, how to find those items intuitively and smartly. So 
Uh, they're less risky in wholesale. I, I say that because, look, usually with wholesale, you may have to buy like a case pack or two of an item. So generally that might be like 48 items. You can test in small quantities. Okay, I got this shelf full of items. You can buy one if you want. You can buy five. Make it prove itself before you buy more. So you can sell. Once you sell all five of those, you can go back and get more. So you're not stuck with 48 of them. And generally, replenishables have much better margins than wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there are a lot of good wholesale accounts out there, mm -hmm. but eventually Amazon, another Amazon seller or two or big mega seller finds what you're selling and then they tank the price. Um, that's very unfortunate, but it does happen. But with these items, you generally find that the margins, you will average somewhere in the ballpark of 80% to 100% even. I know example is going back to uh, our group and uh, mm -hmm. talking about what our margins are. Most of them are achieving somewhere in the 80 to 100% range. So mm -hmm. that's very good. I mean, with wholesale, sometimes you, you're happy to get 15%. So, um, okay, we're going to move on a little bit to, um, you know, the Amazon Legends group this is where you could really elevate your business. So whatever your goal is, uh, it can be um, realized in, in our group. And I wholeheartedly believe that. I didn't really necessarily think that in the beginning until I saw that people were using my strategies and, and really moving up to, the, to their uh, next level in their business. Mm -hmm. People have already moved on to private label. This group is all inclusive. So it doesn't matter where, what level of your business you're in. If you're in retail arbitrage, there are so many people to talk to about it. And if you're at private label, your wholesale, whatever level of your business you are, this is about incorporating all aspects of Amazon mm -hmm. and into your business and making a much stronger business as a, overall. So we talk about all topics. Um, we share deals. It's just, I wish you could see or know what I know about the group and to realize how <laughs> really awesome. I've never experienced any anything like this. Uh, this group is like none other. Um, they're so caring and they really love each other and they just genuinely care about each other and helping their businesses and it's extremely active. Um, I talked to someone the other day who <laughs> was gone for a, uh, a couple of days and they had like 2000 unread messages. So wow. in their WhatsApp chat. <laughs> so it's not like uh, some groups you may have been in the past where it's just a ghost town. I'm there night and day. Okay. If you need something, I'll probably answer you pretty quickly. So, uh, or someone will, but, uh, so look, what, what goes on in, my my group well you got two whatsapp groups one you can talk shop or you can share deals if you have a q a group we have a and b groups um these i just took these snapshots at 7 30 central so it's about an hour ago so, uh -huh. so you can see people are sharing deals um i left a voice message people were asking questions about that uh, you see ryan's in there and Kind of block out people's names, you know, just in case. But uh, we're talking about the PPI method uh, and, you know, just a lot of really neat things happen in the group. And, you know, it's definitely uh, <laughs> it's definitely uh, a wild ride, I guess. Uh, it really is. It. It's so awesome. Well, I know he's going to talk more, go into details about what it is. But um, essentially, it's uh, I, I guess if I could kind of sum it up in five, ten seconds, it's a, a mentoring group. Um, yeah. People that... Um, so it kind of started out as just a deal sharing place where, hey, I found this deal using this method, uh, go to Walmart and grab it. Um, and then, uh, but then it's also just turned into a, an awesome community uh, mm -hmm. where you can literally ask anything. Danny and I are in there um, and, and Danny's way more active and is just so helpful and, and it's just awesome. <laughs> It's hard to describe other than just a, an awesome mentoring group. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty amazing. We just had a conference um, in Dallas. Mm -hmm. What was that, Ryan? That was in uh, the beginning that of the month. Beginning of this yeah. month, yeah. Beginning of this month, June. So mm -hmm. the stories we got out of that conference of people bringing family members home, uh, 
how much money they they've realized in this group and mm -hmm. it's just it is pretty amazing uh we have some very very talented people in the group uh we have a you know your our resident tactical arbitrage expert uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, our um, resident uh, bundling expert yep. Diana, who is amazing at bundles i mean and uh but we'll talk about that here probably in the next slide but I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's something. It, it's so cool. That's all I can say. It really is it's so cool. I, I love waking up every day and seeing like I have sometimes some mornings I go to go to bed. I wake up in the morning. I have three hundred messages and I can't wait to read them. So that's uh, so cool. So um, so what do you get in your legends group? And this is only a partial <laughs> list. So um. You get a weekly OA list that comes from our tactical arbitrage expert, mm -hmm. and you get a separate list for each A and B group. Um, one of our admins, John, he compiles the retail arbitrage finds in an Excel format, and mm -hmm. he he puts those out on a needed basis, like weekly uh, or bi-monthly. Mm -hmm. We do have a bundling service that will be starting up, Leanna. Uh, we used to do make bundles uh and we're still going to do that uh free but it's not going to be something that uh we're going to really focus on as much anymore but if you want a bundle made she could do it for an extra insanely cheap price um it's way lower than you could ever expect to find anywhere else and we purposely did that so uh we have an exclusive legends overseas private label liaison so grace is on our group she lives in singapore she's worked for big big uh, corporations her whole life she if you she'll give you a free consultation you tell her what you're looking for and she'll find it for you overseas for a very very small fee mm -hmm. for what she does because she saves you way more money and the minimum order she knocks those down real real far so you can test items and she'll find you the manufacturer of the item that you're looking for not some middleman she saved me thousands of dollars um in future expenses by finding the uh the, the manufacturer of our first private label item for the group which so uh, we do have exclusive wholesale accounts for the legends group uh those are being restructured right now we're going to um you guys will kind of be the first to hear about this but we're going to kind of set up a new Amazon account for the legends group. And cause I I'm getting so many of these exclusive wholesale accounts that it just, it's just better that we kind of just bought in as a group and then sold. And so you kind of have like shares you bought. And so we would share all these uh, fines and these sales and uh, you know, split the money evenly depending on how many shares you bought. So that's coming soon. I, I spent money to make this app. It's an organizational app. What it does is it you can organize your replenishables by the store you found them in. So if you're in a store like Walmart and you go like, oh gosh, what do I normally buy here? You can go into your app, click on the Walmart, and then you can scroll through and you'll see all of your uh, replenishables. You can save screenshots of the Amazon seller um, app and then save them in your uh, Legends app. Um, we have exclusive webinars for only people in the group. We try to do two a month and they just, I mean, we've talked about private label exclusives. We've talked about reverse sourcing. All of those videos are still there for you to watch. Um, so we have hours upon hours of video uh, recorded webinars for you to watch that are full of all kinds of nuggets. Um, I own a prep center uh, as pro prep and fulfillment. We are a Jim Cochran approved prep center. Uh, we, we just, it's fairly new within the last week, us, my fulfillment team and one other prep center are approved by Jim Cochran. And uh, so this is the first time that's ever been the case. Uh, usually he just said, these are prep centers that we know of. And, but now these are um, ones that he puts his stamp of approval on and we happen to be one of them. So. Yep. You have access to our prep center, which is already the best deal in town, and you get an you get an exclusive discount on top of that. We have very simple pricing; uh, it's um, all inclusive pricing. So 
you don't have to figure out, oh gosh, I got a bubble wrap, I got a poly bag, how much does the box cost? No, this this just breaks it down nice and simple for you uh, per item fee. So you can you always know what your uh, your prep cost is going to be. You can figure that into your profit. And it's only uh, ten dollars an item, right? Huh? Only a ten bucks an item. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, just over a dollar an item no, at, yeah. at most. Yeah, <laughs> goes down to like uh, just uh, dime. So uh, account management. This is something. This is I don't huge. Know, I just, I just come up with new ideas all the time. So he does very talented people in the group. Uh, one of the, luckily one of them is very good at, uh, making, uh, extensions and you can make websites. So right now we just talked about it today, as a matter of fact, the account management website, what is account management? So all those non revenue generating tasks that you do in your account is account management. So fixing stranded inventory, reconciling inventory, uh, get, removing bad feedbacks. That's something that'll be included with your monthly subscription, which that easily pays for your subscription just for getting the refunds that you'll get. And we don't just do like inventory reconciliation like you do with your shipments. We do very in depth, like you have to pull reports down and uh, get all those uh, um, uh, refunds that you're owed that you typically cannot find. I, I shop for the group. I just did it today. As a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> I have some deals I'm going to be posting in there tomorrow. People just, if you want them, you can, you can buy them and we'll ship them on, on your behalf. I don't mark the items up. I just, whatever I pay for them and then a, a prep cost on top of that. And we send it in for you there. <laughs> I'm very picky about the items. So those are really cool. Sometimes when I run out of my budget, I go and shop for people in the group. Cause I think it's great. It's fun. So. I do retail arbitrage all the time, so yeah, I'm always there it. day and yeah, you enjoy yeah. it. I'm always there day and night, so I think that's a uh, worth worth the uh, time uh, your investment there. And look, we have legends conferences. We're going to try them twice a year, so yeah. that's the networking and that is uh, awesome. And it was super cheap, guys. We made the price really like cheap. way way low, um, yeah, way, much lower than you've ever seen. Yeah. Ridiculously low for a conference. So um, mm -hmm. let me. I know this is a lot. So when Danny and I had this, we had, so Danny and I did this webinar back in December about how this whole reverse sourcing method. And so he talked about his his list of replenishable items, and I thought, oh my goodness, this is there's an opportunity here for for Danny and I to partner up and be a blessing to a lot of a lot of people and so um we had the idea to take his replenishable list um and essentially uh share some of it but then it just kind of morphed into something way bigger so um to kind of sum it, what this up is um and i know lynn is on on here and posted in here how much of a blessing it's been to her business but it's a a deal we started as a deal sharing site and it's still very much that people share deals back and forth in the whatsapp group that we have um, there's also from uh, Danny and the team weekly online arbitrage lists that are from us, uh, re to arbitrage finds that are from us. Um, then uh, he's got the bundling stuff, uh, the private label liaison, exclusive wholesale accounts, the organizational app, which is huge. This is something he's going to sell outside of the group, but people in the group get it for free. Uh, this will make it so much easier for replens and just knowing exactly what to get. The webinars, there's tons of more content inside the group, tons of more training on his methods, and way more stuff beyond private label or beyond retail arbitrage, actually. Um, again, the discounts to a prep center, the account management software, um, that's going to, the price of that's going to be as much as what it is to be in the group. Um, and so you get this for free. So that alone pays for it. Uh, then, of course, Danny's crazy and he shops for the group because he loves it. <laughs> so, um, and then he's uh, there all the time answering questions. And then uh, the conferences that we were doing. And who knows what else he's going to come up with. But um, everything that uh, he comes up with gets included. So it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. Um, but it's morphed into a community um, that is just, we're always there for each other, people praying for each other. It's uh, it's amazing. And so um, I'll, I'll let Danny get into his next slide. But yeah, it's been a blood. I mean, it all comes down to the testimonials. I mean, we can talk till we're blue in the face about what it is, but uh, it's the folks that lives and businesses have been changed because of it that are the, the true testament. 
Yeah, so, um, yeah, the, Ryan summed up better than I could. Um, <laughs> I even thought about doing some crazy, what, just going into the WhatsApp groups and just asking what people thought about it. And you can see what they could say live. So, but uh, well, we had, um, what did one of one person, I'm not going to say your name, but want me to read that off? Um, she posted right before. Oh, yeah. Just said there is so much value in this group, and you are so right. Everyone caring for others is a blessing. Um, yeah. The business part is amazing, and to have someone like you and Ryan is such a blessing. I've said this before, and I'm sure I will say in the future, there's no other place I'd rather be. Thank you, and thank you to everyone in this group. I'm so thankful for every single one of you and hope to meet all of you at some point. So we get messages like that and are in the WhatsApp groups very, very often. Um, it's, it's crazy, Jen. Yeah, it's, it is really awesome. It never, it would just literally just became like a deal. Hey, let's share some deals. This will really help people. <laughs> yeah. And it's turned into yeah. an awesome so, community where people are helping each other. Um, and then we're always coming up with new ideas of things to add to it, to make it even more valuable. Uh, and so it's, it's awesome. That's all I can say, but I know he's got more to probably share about it or I can. Well, I mean, just. Probably one of my, and to your benefit, one of one of my things is I I do like to please people and I like to over deliver, and so that's what this has been about the whole time. I just kind of want to make this a, a one stop shop. You don't have to go anywhere else. Uh, everything that you need, support wise or information wise, you can find in this group, and mm -hmm. you know it's just um, it's going to be really really it's been just been really special up until this point. We've only been doing this for six and a half months now. So, right. Yep. Yeah. That's so true. We started this in December and, um, uh, we thought yeah. we'll do it for three months. Let's see if, uh, see if it's, if it's any fun. Um, and then are people going to even enjoy it and be in it? And so, um, we just kept it going. Um, Audrey, are there two groups? So Audrey, there's a, um, there's a deal. There's an A group and a B group for deal sharing, and you're in one or the other um, so that the deals are separate. So there's no sharing back and forth of those. Um, so you have an exclusive list to your group. And then there's a larger Q&A group to ask anything. The reason we did that was because we had people that it was cluttered in the, the deal sharing group. So we thought, let's just make this, this WhatsApp group for deals, deals only. Ask all your questions in the Q&A group. So that's why we did that. You get access to both. Yeah, it's definitely turned into a uh, a family. It really has, and that's the best way of putting it. Everyone knows each other. A lot of us have never met before, except for the people who went to the conference. So, right. Uh, you know, I've even, you know, it's, it feel it feels like family, and I, it does. Cool. Do you have any more slides after this, or? Uh, see, yeah. Um, I was gonna. Add, okay, cool. Look, I just wanted to say, look, there's so many ways you could pay for your way every month. Um, our bundle person, Leanna, told us that she had one replenishable that paid her <laughs> her subscription every month. Um, so she only found this one item, and to this day, she said it would still pay for her subscription. But now she do does all the bundling stuff for us. Um, so just a couple of bundles, I can say for sure, would pay your way. Uh, and and then once you get in the group and people start helping you, myself and others, the admins in the group, we have several admins. Um, definitely will help you get jump started. Uh, just sourcing a, one private label of grace will pay for your way. Um, just fine, helping you uh, avoid all the pitfalls when you source from China or any uh, place like China, anywhere overseas. Uh, you can sell on one wholesale item. I kid you not, and you, some people are not gonna believe me. Um, <laughs> I talked to my good friend in the group that I talked to him at ASD. We became really good friends. I won't mention his name. But uh, one of our wholesale, um, exclusive wholesale accounts, uh, he, this is gonna sound crazy, but he, this in, in one week, he made $18,000 somewhere wow. in that ballpark. Oh my gosh. And uh, because he got on this item that was really hot and is <laughs> part of the uh, wholesale. And so, you know, there's there's a lot of opportunity in that. Look, that's abnormal. Trust me. I just want to say that, you know, he's, you know, I met him at ASD, and uh, you know, we, um, it's it's pretty amazing. So, I never thought something like that would happen. 
but uh, you know, it's uh, kind of these relationships I've built over time, things I could never handle on my own. I could never satisfy these exclusive uh, accounts Mm -hmm. which are regrouping and uh, just going to put them into one big group. So that might change a little bit, but you still be able to get a piece of the action. But uh, um, just buying one deal, sharing the group. Uh, We've had several deals I've shared that people have made hundreds of dollars on. Just yesterday, someone posted a watch that uh, they found on BrickSeek and several people found it. It was like a 200 and, $50 $50 profit, I believe. Uh, maybe it wasn't the watch. That mm-hmm. might have been a different item. But um, we have the OA lists that are made by our uh, tactical arbitrage expert. She vets them. She puts them in the group. Each group has their own. Uh, you get those weekly. Uh, so you can easily pay your way just buying things off the OA list. Um, you can have a bundle built. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Uh, we're getting ready to launch that. So you came at the right time. We're kind of wait till we reset here in July. But uh, just having one successful bundle, if you're afraid to, to make listings, which a mm-hmm. lot of people are, because it can be intimidating. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can let Leanna does do it. She's good with, very good with pictures. She's doing our private label item right now. Uh, we are doing this private label experiment within the group, just so you know. Um, we had a webinar where we, I seriously started from square one, and I found a private label. None of it was... It, it, once you watch my webinars, nothing's staged. I just do it on the fly. <laughs> That's right. I, I, I get worried because I don't know if I'm going to find stuff sometimes. And uh, but I usually do, um, uh, thankfully. <laughs> but <laughs> so in this instance, we started with like Google keywords and uh-huh. keyword planner, and we worked our way through the process. And at the end, we found, oh my gosh, this is like fits all the criteria for a good private label. We sourced it through Grace. <clears throat> Uh, Leanna's, we've recorded the whole thing. She's recording her making the listing. Uh, uh, she did that yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we're going to be completely transparent about it. And you can see it and see the process evolve, how how we do the ads, uh, everything. So, like I said, we do everything in this group. I can't keep up my head. My, <laughs> my head spins thinking about all of it. So, <laughs> and I guarantee you won't be able to keep up with it either. So. But that's good. You want to have more more than you can keep up with. Uh, and then obviously the account management. Uh, the uh, um, and then again, this is something that it will be hard to believe. But with our reimbursement, um, a good friend of Ryan Eyes uh, has made this. We've already talked, and they've agreed upon you know probably letting us use it. But they have this reimbursement soft uh, software they kind of built. I don't know if you call it software, but we pull down reports and then run reports for people who like, let's say they were, were supposed to return something and they didn't. And, and Amazon didn't give you the money back because they're supposed to after 30 days if they didn't return the item. So usually they don't get refunds for that. So they have a way of finding all those and they use it on their personal accounts and they generated six figures in reimbursement. So that, if that tells you anything. So mm-hmm. imagine if you're just a casual seller, you could probably find hundreds of dollars in reimbursements that we'll find for you uh, and do that. So, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty neat. So I think after this, uh, it's question time. Cool. Yeah. Let me post the link in here real quick. So guys, yeah. if you're interested in then checking it out, it's amzlegends.com. Um, just go scroll through that site and look at the um, look at the testimonials. Just read the testimonials from the people that posted um, in there that are in our group, and it's just it's so cool. Uh, all right, so um, Rob asked the first question: What areas of retail stores do you focus on? Any tips on how to efficiently move through the store? Yes, um, a good place to start uh, if you're just starting off is to start in the uh, probably just the home category is the mm-hmm. easiest one. Excuse me. And that's where I started. So um, once you move past home, then you got places like the, you know, your arts and crafts section. Grocery is very good for replenishables. You can find a lot of hidden grocery uh, listings, uh, multi-packs, bundles. Um, Mm -hmm. Let me think here. Toys, um, replenishables. We talk about this in the group, but don't want to give too much away, but there are ways to find a lot of replenishables real quick and you'll see them in the webinars um, where I just open the book, tell you everything, no, nothing held back. 
And but that home is definitely a great place to start yep. in any store. Um, I love going to stores that are unique. Uh, we have these stores called Rule King, and uh, it's kind of like a tractor supply. If you know what tractor supply is, mm-hmm. and just really neat store. They have so many like niche, like neat items. It's also like a private label um, idea factory. It really yes. is. It's just amazing. That's that's why I sit there. I said, take notes. Retail arbitrage is so much more than retail arbitrage. It's the keys <laughs> to your future on Amazon. So I'm not going to say put all your eggs in one basket because you shouldn't do that. So, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to tell you just to do retail arbitrage. I'm going to tell you keep moving forward, grow, go yep. with the price label wholesale. So, but then again, we talk about we have whole webinars based on that as well. So, but we uh, do. Um, Lynn asks that when you find a replenishable that sells well, is there a number that you send in at a time? Two dozen, one dozen? Um, it kind of depends. What I'll do, uh, Lynn, when I find one is I'll go to junglescout.com slash estimator. I save that website on my mobile browser. And when I find an item, I'll look at the current rank. So, and I'll go to Jungle Scout and type in that rank in, their, in its respective category. You'll see when you go to the website, it'll have little boxes for each category. So I go in there and just type the rank in uh-huh. and, and it'll give me estimated sales. I'll usually still only buy maybe half a dozen if it's a fairly good ranking item. Mm-hmm. Like I said, let it prove itself. Um, yeah, I will look at the Keepa charts as well on occasion. Uh, for replenishable items, it's not always necessary to do that. Um, if it, some clearance items, probably, but uh, then you don't want to get stuck analyzing things for too long in the store because it's going to cut into your hourly wage. So just that's why I say just buy a handful. If they sell well, you still maintain a good profit. Go back and buy more. You just build confidence up and go wide. That's why I don't buy a lot of items, you know, like a uh, mile wide inch deep, like Jim Cockrum always talks about. It's, it is a very effective strategy. So, Okay. Um, Bonnie wants to know if we help with the ungating. Ungating. Bonnie, this is something, something very cool. Um, we, we used a service within the group. And yes, we can, we can, there are people that can help in the group that have had just recently got ungated, like in grocery. There's not, luckily, there's not a whole lot of ungated categories. A lot of them like uh, health and personal care, you can sell most items in that unless it's in some subcategories because they recategorize things in Amazon. So it made it a little confusing there for a while, but they can give you pointers and save you a lot of time and grief <laughs> as far as, uh, how to get ungated. There is a service that uh, we do use. Um, it's called uh, TNR ungating, I believe uh, is what was called. But a lot of people in that, it's not something I like endorsing, but a lot of people in the group have used it to get ungated in mm-hmm. a couple of categories. So. All right, Joe says um, that uh, we sound reasonable and ethical. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. <laughs> and he says appreciates the low key, low hype presentation. Yep, that's the way Danny is. Um, don't get too excited about anything. Just, uh, just it's the way it is. And uh, do get excited awesome. about retail arbitrage. So. <laughs> <Right, too. laughs> but he said, um, Joe wants to know what's a reasonable amount of startup capital required to scale up. Look, from zero I- to two thousand a month. 2000 by gosh i mean that's great i started with 800 dollars in debt <laughs> that's how i started we have people in the group who started with 500 bucks mm-hmm. and now they're selling 500 dollars a day yeah so uh you can scale it very quickly and we'll we'll certainly re- lead you in the right direction as far as um you know what what items do you want to buy when you get started you want to buy obviously good ranking items you may only buy i always tell people you want to turn your money over to quickest which you do need to turn it over you need to just buy as many of one or two of each item as you can until you spend all your money mm-hmm. and if you can't spend all your money then buy maybe three or four of some of the items and and then you'll turn it over before your next pay period you get paid every two weeks so try to turn all the 100 percent of your inventory over in those two weeks time so and then before you know it, you're going to have more money to can spend in any right. month and start paying yourself. So, Cool. Um, Audrey asked about, oh, so we've talked about the, okay, deal, talk real quickly about the brain restrictions um, and the rest yeah. of the bottom. 
Oh yes, brand restrictions. That's been like a uh, a big topic lately in the group. Uh -huh, it has. Look, if you stick in this, stick with this group and sell, and you maintain good metrics on your account, you can just get auto approved in a lot of these uh, uh, brands. Recently, I went on a tear. I mean, a, <laughs> I mean, an absolute tear. I got approved for everything. I mean, everything that I tried. It was pretty amazing. And we we share those uh, in the group. Okay, everyone, I'm getting auto approved for. Um, otter boxes i mean i'm not saying to sell otter boxes but i did get approved to sell otter boxes which i thought was kind of crazy but um or uh like if a lot of people can't sell lego just recently got auto approved to sell lego uh -huh. but if you sell my uh, what i suggest that you sell on the replenishables um you will uh build your metrics up in your account and that'll allow you and you know I don't know what the amount of time is going to be, maybe uh, three, four, five months. And you can go through and keep trying to get auto approved for these brands mm -hmm. and it will happen. So, and there. They're cutting out, Danny. Can you hear us? Yeah, you just went completely off. I can see your video, but it's um, maybe let's turn your video off. Yeah, so Lynn, he, um, a lot of people are getting auto approved um, in the group. Uh, it's really, really, really cool. Um, so Bonnie, there's there's several options. Uh, if you go hey, to, I got it. you got it. You're back. <laughs> Maybe he's yeah, back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm All back. right, yay. Sorry about that. That's okay. What are your questions we have? So we're talking about auto approval. You got that. Um, so Bonnie, there's several different options. Go to amzlegends.com and uh, we have a, a three month option uh, if you just want to try it out. And then there's a, we went with a 12 month option for people that wanted to stick around for a long time that, uh, that mm -hmm. are in the group since the beginning. You're like, hey, we're tired of having to renew every, uh, every three months. Uh, so we did that. Um, Oh, last question that we have. Travis wants to know: what, Does Grace help with avoiding IP and patent issues? Yeah, um, she'll she'll talk to the manufacturers, and believe it or not, a lot of these Chinese manufacturers are not interested in violating trademarks or patents on U.S. items. So they will tell you if it is patent or trademark. Trust me, because I've ran into this before. But Grace will help you avoid those pitfalls. So I know that is like. Uh, a question we can get a lot so but uh, yeah she will definitely be looking out for you she knows what to look for and uh, she's actually um, um, getting ready to uh, set up a tr overseas trip for the legends group sometime next year That's so, awesome. that'd be kind of fun. so yeah we're gonna try to go over to the Yiwu, um, um, uh fair you know and just have a good time yep cool Danny, that's all the questions we got, man. What else right. we got? Um, oh, so I, I bet. Um, let's see. So, if I mean, if I, can I do it every four months? If I renew with the three month option to save, I can do it every four months. Um, oh, what? Well, renew with the three I think I know what she means. Um, do you? Okay. Um, let's see. Well, maybe not. I can only answer Audrey real quick. So the race to the bottom, Audrey, we limit the number of people and there's tons of deals. Um, so that's that one. So Lynn, I'm not sure what, so the three month option is just to kind of like to, that's how we started. Um, Cause we didn't know if number one, Danny was going to enjoy doing this. And so um, he loves it and so wants to continue doing it. So that's why, but then we just kept the three month option to stay in three months at a time, just renew. But then people got tired of renewing and said, Hey, I'm in for life. Um, give me a 12 month option. So that's why we did that. Um, but you can continue. Yeah. To, I mean, you can do the three month option if you want, just try it out um, or go right to 12 months and save some money. 
Um, thanks, Deborah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, would love to have you in the group. Appreciate, that's really cool. Says it's one of the best webinars she's ever listened to. I appreciate that, Deborah. Thank you. Uh, Abraham wants to know what would be, um, oh, now we're getting tons of questions here. Abraham, what would be, what would you expect within the first week of joining? Amazon by the seat of your pants. No, but I was just teasing. But uh, sorry, am I cutting out again? Nope, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. So, Abraham, what uh, usually the first week we talk about replenishable, so we'll get you jump started right away. There's a start here post in each of the Facebook groups that we have where you can uh, start watching the videos. And your first week should really probably be playing catch up and uh, watching all the reverse sourcing videos and all the videos that interest you. They're all titled and uh, they're all very, very uh, good and they're filled with lots of uh, goodies, needless to say. So. Yeah, traffic real quick on the um, so tra on the reimbursements uh, with the uh, the service the account management yeah. software. He's the Amazon. We got around that, Travis. It's That's hard. what I thought. I knew you did. <laughs> yeah, the, it's really easy to get around. So we'll just give you like cases that you just copy and paste. Yep. Into your account, super easy to get around. Yep. Awesome, Jan. Thanks so much. One of the best webinars she's listened to, uh, Bonnie. So the um. So if you go to amazonlegends.com we have the, the three month option uh 247 um, per month three months and then the 12 month option save um 50 bucks a month 197 uh on that so um will this be open next month no it will not um if uh no we're we'll reopen again in Dece in october though Mm -hmm. so. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. If you've got any other questions, just email us. Um, we'll take care of it. So, Danny, thanks so much for being on tonight with me. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for All right. being on here. Guys, have a great evening. Talk to you later. See ya. All right.